hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in i truly appreciate every single one of you so don't you ever forget that so with that being said you guys i hope you guys haven't been have been enjoying my content right so now this right here you're probably like angel cards yep that's right we have four decks here that are angel cards because this is going to be an angelic reading for you guys and this is going to be guidance from above this is a guidance from above reading so i don't know why and i really don't want to bring this up but but i've already done one of these videos which i didn't put up yet um, because I'm trying to make quite a few before I put them all out. But yesterday when I did the All Signs reading, the title for the All Signs reading that I did pertaining to this spread is your angelic message in the All Signs reading is we've got your back. Okay, the angels have got your back. Um, the thing here now with this reading <clears throat> This reading is supposed to be for Aries, okay? Remember, Aries is the head and the face, okay? So now, this is why I keep telling you guys, you know, the concept here in the channel is we're following the astrological body, okay? Because this is the image in which the universe made us, all right? So now, with that being said, there's a channeled message here that's coming in for aries okay now mind you you guys can all watch this you can be an a pisces you can be a capricorn you can be a scorpio you can be a virgo you can be whatever you can watch every single reading on this channel that is how i make am making these readings now now the order okay in which we are doing these readings i'm going to give it to you guys again aries Dados, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, <coughs> Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. That is the order because we are going all around the body, okay? Now, my thing here that I'm trying to figure out if this is a channeled message just for Aries or if this is how we're going to begin these readings. Because the channeled message that's coming in is about a subject that, <coughs> like I know about it, but I don't know too much about it. And there's this topic here of purgatory, right? So I started reading a little bit about it and I'm like, when I'm reading about purgatory, and like the main sins that have to do with purgatory i'm like that's earth what are we talking about here right like and i don't want to say it i don't want to say it but i'm like what we're living in purgatory as we speak right now but i'm a little bit in denial and i'm sort of reluctant to say that to you guys because my particular next project has to do with that it has to do with religions, um, the study of, right? Which is something, a journey that I'm going to be beginning on my own, which is going through every little itty bitty bit of knowledge that I can find out there and working it out for myself in my own opinion. And I, I'm telling you guys right now, when I read sort of like the definition of the purgatory and the sins it was like describing earth describing the culture and i'm like is this is this really happening right now like is is this the path we're going down so i don't know if someone who's going to be watching this aries reading is concerned with purgatory um I did read a little bit and I'm not trying to downplay any religion. I think every single religion has some type of beautiful uh, contribution that they can give, right? But I also read, don't quote me on this, something to the nature of you can go and confess your sins. I'm not trying to use the religion's name, but you can go and confess your sins and 
and that is supposed to resolve or appease your sins, right? Or sin that you have confessed to. It's like the confession that you're making is supposed to be enough. But I don't know, you guys. I'm having a difficult time with that concept, to be honest with you. And and it is very hard for me to sit here and kind of like have a conversation with you guys about this. So I don't know if somebody on my channel, maybe a subscriber who watches Tarot is concerned with purgatory or is concerned about something that they have already confess to or something they have already admitted to and maybe the thought process of well is that truly enough and and let me tell you something if somebody out there is really feeling like that i'm conflicted too like confessing the sin is that enough you know, back in the day, Salem witch trials, and there's so much history of people who have confessed sins and they were executed anyway, or they were murdered anyway, or they were just completely abolished anyway, because you were looked at or not currently, but in the past, you could be looked at as a problem. Because now you have confessed to something and it's like, are you like, are you really being considered the rotten apple that has fallen from the tree? So because of that, does that make you less of a person? I mean, we have to really think about it, not only for this particular religion, but for any religion who chastises an individual or they outcast an individual uh, just because they're having a hard time conforming right this can go for anything guys and and ladies this can go for anything i mean i am so confused by why spirit is having me sit here and and talk to you about a subject that it's it's so rooted in our history books and it's like even if you think about it back in egypt when they did the scales and it's like if your heart was not light as a feather for all the good deeds that you did um you know, you would not be able to enter the afterlife. This is a concept that has been going on for such a long, long time. But in my opinion, okay, I am not affiliated with a religion at all at the moment, okay? I'm, I'm a neutral person. I love everybody. I love everyone, okay? I think every religion is beautiful. But in my opinion... If you, okay, if you don't hold yourself to a certain standard, right, or a certain level, like, why is it that you're able to go into said religion or to go into said practice, right? Because if that's the case, that it's so easy to sin, and then it's so easy to just something as simple as confessing can, can get you back on the right track, right? Then why is that, though? Like, that's my question. Why is that? Why can't you just have communion with just you and your creator and that is it no middleman in between i mean i'm not trying to downplay any priest or or pastor or anything like that or or any monks or nuns or i think we all have a great ability to contribute our own part right but why can't we just have that one 
Why can't we just have that one on one? And the guilty conscience, right? If you really think about it, if you're truly into your human um, perspective, right? Into your love for humanity, into your love for yourself and your family and your friends, right? And, and even relationships, kids, wives, husbands, children, whatever, okay? And if you're truly in that state of love, in my humble opinion, me confessing about something is not going to be enough for me. I still will have that guilty conscience of shit. I don't mean to cuss, but I'm just saying this, this is true what I'm telling you. Shit. I know I confessed it, but I feel so terrible deep down within me. You know, you understand where I'm going with, guys? So, I don't know if somebody has that question. Hmm. Very interesting, Aries. All right, Aries, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you guys would like to join, you guys are more than welcome to subscribe, like, and share. Keep in mind, this channel does not do comments, so I don't know why I just went on like a 11-minute rant about that. I'm going to tell you guys right now, as I'm doing my research, when it begins, because I'm supposed to begin it soon, um, I will let you guys know my opinion, my take on it, and, and, and what I think about it, right? Because I think all great minds should think alike. And I'm, I, I personally feel like I'm a great mind. And I'm, I'm a questioner. I question everything. I question everything. I'm not on here on YouTube looking stuff up. Um, no, I go for the source. I try to find the source, the best reliable source that I could find. Majority of the time, that would be a legitimate book, right? All right, so let's see. What do we need to know for Aries? Aries, what do we need to know for Aries? We are going to look at the present. Love you the environment, and the process or the journey for Aries. What do we need to know for Aries? What is your message? I'm saying. I'm saying. They're already trying to correlate with how I began. This is the tower here. This is that crazy baby. I call him the crazy baby, okay? This is Uriel. Now, check it out. For a lot of you who don't know, Archangel Uriel is in charge of taking, and I don't want to say bringing, but I feel like he's in charge of taking. He's in, car in charge of taking these souls to the spiritual realm, that dimension that we don't know that much about. I have a deep connection with Uriel myself. Um, but he's on the tower card and this is the fire of God. And what were we just talking about? Purgatory. So here it says disruption warns of disasters, aids in transformation. So, and I also read when I was reading about purgatory, which like I said to you guys, I do not know that much about that. So I find it very intriguing that you can go to purgatory, okay? It's it's very interesting subject. Um, you know, curiosity kills the cat, and it definitely killed me because it had me stuck here reading for like about 30 minutes before I began. So anyways, look, two of wands is popping out. The helping God, and I'm gonna leave it right there because I didn't say the other position. Love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. You see, and that's where I'm saying, like if, if our creator is a loving God, is a loving individual, and he truly wants the best for us, just like any parent, they're gonna put us through trials and tribulations and tough love. Two of wands is here with the helping God, right? And it's almost as if this was created to assist now, my issue that I'm having is, is it here now currently 
or is it actually another place that we have to go to because that's the suggestion of it that it's another place we have to go to uh, before what okay so this is presently at the moment there is some sort of crisis or there is some sort of event that has put you in sort of like at a crossroads needing to make a decision but these are the first steps. The helping God is about a forgiving God, right? So if you've been led to believe that he's not forgiving, he's going to smite you, he's going to, I don't know, electrocute you with lightning bolts and stuff. He is an all loving God. I, I firmly believe it's a presence of, I am there for you. And I'm only going to step in when I need to step in. Because I need to see what you're going to do for yourself. And I feel like this is what's going on here. It's kind of like, I created that event. I created that situation. And now I need to see what you're going to do next. To me, that makes sense. Okay. So let's see here. What do we need to know? for Aries for the love department for them Aries for the love department for Aries I say love department all right the page of cups sorry guys I was making a candle here before I started after before I started reading so page of cups is here God who rejoices divine comfort gives consolation and protection from one's enemies just to start just to start i even want to say just to talk talk about it just to think about it just to know that there needs to be a change that there needs to be a new beginning of something that right there is enough for him to get things moving okay what do we need to know for Aries? This is you position or viewer. What do we need to know? Justice. The invocable God. Justice makes truth known in the court, causes innocence to prevail. I don't know if it's, you're concerned. Okay. I don't know if you're concerned that you're in the wrong. I don't know if it has to do with believing what you're believing or you're in the wrong or you feel like you're in the wrong because maybe you're in some type of practice or religion and you feel like well what if i'm not doing it right this is kind of letting me know well how can i blame you if there's so many going on right and in, in all reality it's like they know our thoughts they know our intentions they know our true heart's desires they know the purity of things right when we get down to that okay and i feel like if you're innocent in your heart and your mind and you're just doing what you think is right i don't think you're gonna be um punished for that because if you really think about it is it really your fault is it really truly your fault Maybe not. You know, you just need to make the first steps here. What else do we need to know? This can also be a clear sign to here. Okay, two of pentacles, but we're not going to take it. But I'm going to tell you something, what I was going to say. This can also be a clear sign here of a contract that you have not fulfilled. 
And until you fulfill this contract, that crazy baby is going to be right there. The freaking baby, bro. He's nuts. I'm telling you. I'm surprised the other card didn't come out yet. But it's like... It's going to keep happening. This tower moment is going to keep happening if you keep choosing the wrong energy or being around the wrong energy because you're just not taking the steps to do for you. And really, I want to say claim your crown, claim your throne and be resourceful. Don't be so... I really want to say don't be so arrogant because here we're getting two of pentacles, God who supports the universe, fortune and fame fulfills any request. It will fulfill any request. So I don't know if maybe you're just, I don't, for some people, it could be people who are chasing fortune and fame and they just think, wow, this is it. I need the clout. I need to do what I got to do. Or I don't know, I need to show my body or I need to... Uh, stiff people off for services that I have not given them. I don't know what's going on there, but it's kind of like until you begin to do things the right way and not be selfish for yourself, that's going to keep happening. All right. What do we need to know for the environment here? But I do feel like someone has some type of conscience. Look, the environment is getting 10 of swords. That's that, that's that one. That, that's that got like a thousand eyes. And it says the marvelous God. Revelation protects from sadness, gives revelations and dreams. So you might be needing to watch your dreams. You might be needing to pay attention to your dreams. Maybe they're trying to give you signals to your dreams of, hey, you have not been doing the right thing lately. Or you're questioning this. Well, pay attention to this. Okay, what do we need to know about the process or the journey for Aries, please? What do we need to know about that? Seven of Pentacles. You see? The lovely God. Discernment. General prosperity. The deliverance of prisoners. And, and they've got a little lantern there. See what you need to see. See your options. Are you seeing your options? Are you not seeing your options? Is it a situation where now you clearly feel exhausted? This can also go to for the individual who only seeks guidance from above when they're hitting rock bottom. Those are the ones that drive me insane because it's like, okay, yes, you should be in prayer when you need to be in prayer when you're going through something but you should also be in prayer when you are having those good days those best days you know he doesn't only want you to come towards him talking about your issues when you're in an energy of oh my gosh i don't know what to do come to him when you're happy too come in prayer when you are happy too Say you're thankful when you are happy too. This should not only be when you feel like, oh, this is the only option I got. Um, there's many options. There's many times that you should be coming towards your faith and your healing in prayer. It's the four of wands. God the Savior. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. You shouldn't only be coming to him when you're going through something. You also have to come to him when you're having those good days. Um, let's see. Oh, I got a little bit of ashes from the incense. So let's see here. I just split the deck right in front of you guys. I hope you guys can still see my hands and look. It's the Ace of Gabriel and the Ten of Michael. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. And then we're getting here, Ten of Michael. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. I don't know if you're feeling restricted in some way, Aries. Let me see here. What do we need to know for Aries? Okay. 
Aries in the present. There you go. Nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. And the Eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. The Eight of Michael is sort of like the Eight of Swords here. So maybe some Aries are feeling like they're either stuck and stagnant in some situation. They do not feel free. But it's like with the Eight of Michael, it's like, well... We're here to protect you. Nine of Ariel is the nine of wands, I believe. And that is the energy of, okay, I'm wounded. It's been difficult for me, but I'm still going to continue. I am still going to move forward with it. Okay. What do we need to know for the love position for Aries? Okay, I picked out two again. Oh, and they both have to do with love. Four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Okay, that would definitely make sense with the Page of Cups. And this one here is Seven of Raphael, which is the Seven of Cups. Take time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action a need for detoxification you see so make the decision you have the option to do this to clear out basically like they said detoxify yourself detoxify whatever energy you have stuck with you from this person okay what do we need to know for the justice card which is the aries or you section here Uh huh. Two of Gabriel. Make a bold, ambitious choices. Great process is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Now, with this right here, remember we were talking about the justice and how you don't want to sort of like, like you're questioning things, right? You might not be the only person who's questioning stuff. I mean, I just plainly claim out and question stuff with you here. So with the two of Gabriel here, you might be, you, there might be people around you who are beginning to question certain things too, because they're trying to find clarity in the situation. And I really want to say to you, they're probably also trying to keep themselves from getting so emotional with it with the water being here so you know ask your questions ask your questions what do we need to know for the environment for aries the environment oh we're getting 15 decision archangel jafiel release yourself from that which holds you back a need to detox Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of confidence. Ending communication here with the Ten of Swords. What is this? I don't know if this is really talking about, like, make this decision. I'm not trying to tell anybody to... Leave what they need to leave, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is the guy from downstairs, and you know this is detachment. This is uh, regaining your independence. You know, sometimes, I'm not trying to trigger any of you, okay? But sometimes religion can be overwhelming. Sometimes it can be overwhelming or what they require you or what they are telling you is going to be like, this is the way you need to live. This is how every, every single one requires something. Okay. But if you feel you need to take just a little step back, I'm not saying leave it, I'm not saying leave it, 
I'm saying if you need to take a step back and process it, the best question that I can tell you to think of is, is this my character? Is this, is this what's within me that resonates with me, right? And I don't care what religion you're questioning, but that's what you need to ask yourself. Is this resonating with me? Is this really in my heart? Is this really where I'm supposed to be? And that will give you your answer. Don't listen to nobody else. Listen to what you need to for yourself. What do we need to know about this process or journey here? Process or journey here for Aries. Oh my geez. This is just divine guidance. You guys know who this is, right? This is the teacher himself. This is the Hierophant, Archangel Sandalphon. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. Seven of Pentacles. You have this choice, guys. You have this choice. And... I really do feel like this is something you're being guided to do. These are crown chakra colors. Um, do your research. Do your research. Here in the bottom of the deck, you're getting the Knight of Gabriel. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Take time. Ugh, excuse me. That's a tongue twister. Time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do she's on a horse movement forward and she's being protected as she's moving forward if you guys want to watch the all signs reading you're more than welcome to because that reading over there was more about the relationships that we deal with and how we are divinely protected as we go along this journey like it was super adamant in that reading that we are protected so that while we're being protected, we can do the work that we need to do down here. So Aries, this is this is really becoming one for the books right here. So angel guide here is the possible solutions for your question. So the first one here is the present. Okay, what's the solution for the present at the moment with this nine of Ariel, which is a nine of wands, the tower, the two of wands, and the eight of Michael, there you go, composure. They want you to compose yourself. They want you to control yourself. They want you to really, really handle this. So you're gonna have to compose yourself. Maybe no arguments, maybe no questioning. Hey, but what about this and what, don't do it. Just, you keep your information to yourself. What's the solution here for the love position for Aries. There you go. They're talking about it. Divine timing. That's sort of like a, a, a warp hole there that this angel is holding. It's like divine timing. We'll make it happen when it needs to happen. Uh, what do you want them to do about this? What's the solution for them? For Aries? Here with the Justice card and the Two of Gabriels. What's the solution for them? Wow, that's a beautiful one. Forgiveness and understanding. It's either that or somebody's doing something that is not with your religion or it's not in your, like it's not okay in your belief. But here the angels are saying forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgiveness and understanding from the heart. Wow. All right, what else do we need to know for Aries? So here we are with the environment for Aries. What's the solution there? Mm. Take it as a learning experience. Take it as a learning experience be illuminated by it wow 
What is the solution for the process or the journey for Aries? Compassion. Compassion. I feel like they want you to know that they are compassionate about you. Oh my gosh. I am telling you. I don't know if it's... I don't know. Whoever this reading is for in Aries today, my heart goes out to you. Because I don't know if you're dealing with a situation that has to do with religion. And it either has to do with either forgiving something that you have done. And it's like there's sort of like this concept of a guilty conscience and purgatory. And have I really resolved that? Because then here, look what's coming out. Self-acceptance. For the bottom of the deck. Self-acceptance, you guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's go into my angel answer cards here let's see so here is what do they how do they feel or what do they want okay so here you're getting get more information for the present they want you to get more information they want you to seek for more information what do you want them to know about okay Oh, these are so many. So they're saying something about a year from now. They're letting you know that there's something better. And they're letting you know to remain positive as well, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, How do you feel? How do they feel or want? What do they want for you in the position here? The you position for Aries. If this is not the most beautiful reading that I have done in my entire journey here on YouTube, I don't know what it is. Look what they're saying. They want you to recover. Wow. Um, what do you want them to know for the environment? How do you feel about their environment? Okay, within the next two, next few weeks. Okay, so I'm starting to feel like they're okay with the environment because it is a learning experience. Okay, what do you want them to know about the process or the journey here? Still, they said wait. I'm going to get one more. One more for the weight. What else? Oh my gosh. We got two. Romance. And they want you to communicate clearly. Wow. Bottom of the deck here. There's a yes. There is a yes. All right, guys, let's go into the angel and ancestors here. Oh, sorry, that was me. Uh, three cards, four Aries. This is um, what they expect from you, okay? Aries, what they expect from you. One, what do you expect from Aries? Two, what do you expect from Aries? Three. Bottom of the deck. Snake shed old skin. I don't I I I don't even know what to say anymore about this reading. Like I don't know what this is here. Stag. Trust and thrive. Air guardian. Shift your perception. Magic guardian. Unlock your magic within. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if they're just like, listen, 
pay attention to what you need to pay attention to pay attention to i don't know if you're just being called to evaluate or reflect on certain things but i definitely feel like your self-acceptance here is very very important and they want you to like truly i want to say see yourself for who you truly are versus what everybody sees you as take it for what it is you guys thank you for being here aries and i will see you in the next one bye now